in this experiment we will be measuring the charge to mass ratio of an electron. The experimental setup consists of a set of coils which are known as the Helmholtz pair of coil and it consists of a cathode ray tube which is used for generating the beam of electrons whose charge to mass ratio we will be measuring. This cathode ray tube consists of an anode and cathode which is used for accelerating the electrons. It is a tube which is filled with argon gas. Here you may be able to see that there is a filament, a hot filament which is used for generating electrons. When they strike the argon atoms, they excite the argon atoms and when these argon atoms de-excite, they generate a blue light. So, these argon atoms actually act as tracers for looking at the path of electrons inside the cathode ray tube. And we will be using this cathode ray tube to measure the E by M ratio of electrons. And these set of coils generates a magnetic field which moves the electron in a circular path. By varying the strength of the magnetic field and the accelerating voltage of the electrons, a combination of these quantities can be used to measure charge to mass ratio of an electron. This blue ray is a straight beam of electrons which is generated in zero magnetic field between the coils. Now my colleague is varying the magnetic field and you can see that a circular path of electrons is being generated. Here you can see the circular trajectory of electrons. The argon is getting excited, the argon atoms are getting excited and they are showing up as this blue path which is lighting up the path of electrons. And this is the circular path of electrons in a magnetic field between the Helmholtz pair of coils.